hello students today we are going to start your second chapter nouns in this chapter we are going to revise what is noun definition of noun and the examples on nouns and later on we will discuss the kinds of nouns so let us start the chapter chapter number 2 nouns our second chapter is nouns and today we are going to study nouns its definition and kinds of nouns common noun proper noun material noun collective noun and abstract noun first of all we should know what are nouns a noun or naming word is the name of a person animal place thing idea or feeling for example vibha is happy because she won the first prize mr gupta lives in kanpur he won a prize for his bravery last year rohan is flying a kite with his sister now here you can see the vibha prize kanpur bravery year rohan kite and sisters are nouns the definition of a noun a noun is a word that names a person place thing an idea a noun is a word used as the name of a person place or thing as akbar was a great king kolkata is on the banks of the river hugli so here we can see the akbar great emperor and the uh, name of the akbar is a noun kolkata is a city so it is also a noun so what is a noun the answer is there a noun is a person place thing or idea here in this image you can also see words that you use to name a person place thing an idea are called nouns the examples are given over here in this image you can see list of nouns there are so many words which are nouns the list of 185 commonly used nouns in english now let's start discuss the kinds of noun the first is proper noun or you can say a proper noun names a specific person place or thing capitalize proper noun is the name given to a specific person place or animal for example names of places river ocean seas name of organizations famous buildings monuments languages uh, months days of the week titles festivals and special days books films and newspaper a proper noun always begins with a capital letter the sun moon and sky are names of the unique or specific objects but they are not written with the capital letter so always remember a pro proper noun is the name given to a specific person place or animal so if for example it is given in this image bromswick florida summer waves glen middle school harry potter mrs jones so these are the names suppose your name is shubham so it is a proper noun because the name is specifying something so it is called proper noun the second kind of the noun is a common noun 
common noun is used in naming not a specific person place or thing a common noun is the name given in common to all people places animals or things that are of the same kind for example she is a teacher mumbai is the largest city in india so now here you can see the city city is common for all in these sentences teacher and city and are the common nouns names of the people places things and animals they are all common they are common nouns since these nouns are not naming anything specific they do not need to start with the capital letters unless they begin a sentence you can see more example of common nouns mall boy school building tree flower book these are common for all so it is called common noun now in this image you can see common nouns man mountain ocean state country building cat website and proper nouns the man is there so the name is also written over here this is common and this is proper because the specific name are there ocean state country building these are common noun and because these are the specific nouns so it is called proper noun always remember every proper noun has a common noun equivalent but not every common noun has a proper noun equivalent for example dust is only a common noun there is no specific kind of dust so it's just common a proper noun names a person place or thing i went to a park yesterday i went to khalifa park yesterday here you can see the difference between the common and proper noun the park is common noun and this is proper noun again we will revise the definition it is a word that names people a place an animal are called noun and the proper and common noun where we are specifying the name that is called proper noun and there is no requirement of any name it is common to all that is called common noun now this is a very beautiful poem about proper nouns are special every name or surname is a proper noun so put a capital letter down months and days are nice enough but capital letters make them big stuff states and towns across the land need capital letters to make them grand titles of books are important in every way except may be word like the and the a street names should not be forgotten leaving those out world be just plain rotten a capital letter is the way to start a proper noun are uh, now are and your smart so this is a poem that you remember where we should use proper noun and how to use proper noun now let's start the collective nouns collective nouns are used to describe a group of the same thing a collective noun is a collection of person animals or thing it is the name of a collection of persons animals or things for example a fleet of ship is entering the harbor a swarm of bees is buzzing around the flowers the words fleet and swarm talk about a collection of things 
ships and bees they are collective noun a collective noun usually takes a singular verb in a sentence it does not begin with a capital letter so the people word associated with certain animal people involved in the same job and activity physical features of the landscape things in general so the people the group of people a small group we can say people crowd of people we can say large number of people they are, we can say crowd of people here we can see some example of collective nouns a herd of cows a flock of birds a swarm of flies a collective noun is a word used to name a group of people animals or things a pack of dogs a school of fish a bunch of keys a team of horses a troop of monkeys always remember a collective noun is singular in form even though it names anything which is two or more than two a bale of cotton a deck of cards collective nouns are words that we use to show a group of things animals or people so we have already seen the examples here are some more examples of collective nouns a pair of shoes a bunch of keys a herd of cows an army of soldier a swarm of bees a team of players now here are some exercises i have a dash of bananas a comb or group so we will write a comb of banana the next exercise jeremy was chased by a dash of bees a swarm of bees or bunch of bees so here we are going to write a swarm of bees so these are the example of collective nouns next kind of sentence is abstract noun an abstract noun is the name of an action quality or a state it refers to things we can think of hear or feel for example we should always speak the truth childhood is the best time for of life the words truth and childhood are abstract noun abstract nouns are things but you cannot touch feel hear or smell them now here we can see fear greed these are the abstract noun abstract nouns are the opposite of concrete nouns nouns that refer to object you can experience with your five senses abstract nouns are intangible they can identify concept experiences ideas qualities and feelings an abstract noun is a thing that you can not see touch or place in a box the nature of abstract nouns are abstract and concrete are usually defined together or in terms of each other the abstract is that which exists only in our minds that which we cannot know through our senses it includes qualities relationship conditions idea theories stages of states of being fields of inquiry and the like we cannot know a quality such as consistency directly through our senses we can only see or hear about people acting in a way that we come to label consistency 
countable and uncountable abstract noun although abstract nouns tend to be countable or uncountable the uncountable nouns are abstract nouns are courage happiness news tennis training these are uncountable abstract nouns and many are countable nouns just uh, for example an r a joke a quantity others can be both often with shift of its meaning from general to particular great kindness many kindness these are countable and uncountable uh, abstract noun for here you can see the example of abstract noun in a sentence the force needed to open the jar was beyond my capacity now here you can see the bold letters or bold words are in this image abstract noun my thought are with you in your time of sorrow now here thought and time and sorrow are abstract noun the chill in the air caused some discomfort now here you can see discomfort is a abstract noun the fear and the thrill of the ride are in equal proportion now here you can see fear and thrill and proportion i haven't given up hope hope is a abstract noun love is joy for some and pain for others now love and joy and pain all are abstract noun some fun was our goal a mess was the result now here we can see fun goal mess and result these are all abstract noun you have lost my trust trust is a abstract noun our friendship goes back many years friendship is a abstract noun you need a sense of humor to work here so now here we can see sense humor both are abstract noun it was a pleasure to meet your family so pleasure is a abstract noun with a little effort kindness can be can become a habit the so effort kindness and habits are abstract noun you have the ability to do well in exam the so ability here abstract noun her courage was admirable for such a young person now courage is a abstract noun far too often we let desire cloud our reason now here desire and reasons are abstract noun modern technology is a result of century of technical evolution now here we can see technology centuries and evolutions are abstract noun education is a great good so now education and good are abstract noun now fifth kinds of nouns are material noun material noun is the name of a material or substance from which things are made and which we can see hear smell taste or touch for example she is kneading flour iron is a hard metal the ring is made of gold the word used for material of which things are made is called material noun for example the chair is made of wood the cup is made of gold blackboard is made of cement and the group of material nouns metal we can see iron gold platinum etc products measured in bulk tea sugar rice wheat etc geological bodies is mud sand granite rock these are all material noun natural phenomena rain dew cloud uh, frost mist item manufactures clothes soap rubber paint etc are material nouns they are the example of material nouns now let's move to your grammar book 
in your grammar book the kinds of nouns are there with example proper noun names of particular place person and object for example john delhi chennai common nouns general names of places person or object examples boys park chairs collective nouns name of a collection or group of persons animals or things forming a unit examples army mob nation now fourth is abstract noun abstract nouns are name of qualities ideas emotion and such things which we cannot see or touch these are called abstract noun for example friendship honesty beauty material nouns name of material or substance used as ingredients for making things for example water iron and steel now here the exercises are given uh, identify the different kinds of noun in the following sentences and name them now here we are going to write different kinds of noun dhoni is a good bats batsman now here you can see dhoni is a proper noun next he has good knowledge of cricket here we can see knowledge is abstract now ravi is a man of great wisdom now here you can see ravi is a proper noun and great wisdom wisdom is abstract noun for making the dessert we need sugar milk and honey now here you can see these are all material noun material noun a herd of cattle greeted the farmer in his backyard here you can see a herd of cattle is a collective noun countable and uncountable noun here we can see countable and uncountable noun countable nouns or countables are the nouns that can be counted for example books pens pencils countable nouns have both plural and singular forms usually most of the common and collective nouns are countable nouns uncountable nouns are those that cannot be counted they are also called uncountable nouns for example milk sugar tea bread soap uncountable nouns have singular form only there are nouns which can be countable or uncountable depending on the context such as glass paper fish and oil read these sentences the photo frame is made of glass so this is uncountable noun now b please give me an empty glass this is countable noun in sentence glass is a uncountable noun while in sentence b glass is a countable noun countable nouns may be used with words such as a one two few and many for example few people came to the party now b one boy got hurt while practicing uncountable noun cannot be used with these words we cannot say one milk or few sugar with uncountable noun we, we can use word like little or much this we have to remember all the time 
so example i need some milk put a little sugar so we can use group of words for cup of slice of cakes of with uncountable nouns for example a cup of milk two cups of milk four cakes of soap five slices of bread not that though we write cups cakes slices uh, the uncountable milk soap and bread remain the same proper noun like name of countries such as india pakistan names of particular places such as delhi bhopal and names of particular person or things are unique there is only one of their kind so they are called uncountable noun now material noun like sugar milk tea iron glass are uncountables and abstract nouns like honesty knowledge beauty are uncountable noun exceptions are always there so we just have a look on exceptions some abstract nouns may also have a plural form such as decision decisions hardship hardships now the exercise number b we can see the identify the countable and uncountable nouns according to the context context the first one has been done for you his knowledge in maths is impressive the knowledge here uncountable and maths is a countable now books are distributed among the children so now here we can see books books is a countable noun her kindness towards uh, street dogs made her adopt them now kindness we cannot measure so it is uncountable and street dogs or these are the things we can write this is countable how much sugar do you need for the cake now here the sugar is a uncountable noun we should drink minimum 8 glasses of water daily so 8 glasses of water here it is countable noun but water is a uncountable material they eat a lot of fish they eat a lot of fish so here we can say fish can be counted so it is countable noun we should cultivate good manners so now here yeah, the good manners uncountable his work for the day is over this is countable her music is very popular this is also uncountable have you finished your project this is countable project can be counted now here we can see collective nouns a collective nouns refer to a group or sets of animals person or thing forming a unit the following example are example of collective nouns a herd of buffaloes a flight of geese a pride of lions a gang of thieves a pack of wolves a swarm of bees a bunch of keys a regiment of soldiers a squadron of policemen a troop of dancers a horde of savage a litter of puppies a bench of judges a fleet of ships a choir of singers a brood of chicks a crowd of people a box of tools a constellation of a star a bouquet of flowers a sheaf of arrow arrows a grove of trees a shoal of fish an orchestra of musician a congregation of people a board of directors a suite of rooms a column of ants a bundle of sticks a chest of drawers collective nouns used for group of people a group of people watching a match these are called spectators a group of people at the religious meeting this is called congregation 
a group of people listening to a cons- concert or lecture these are called audience a group of people gathered for the specific common purpose this is called assembly a group of people gather without any particular person purpose it is called crowd a group of people gathered for some destructive purpose that is called mob a group of savage people this is hot fill in the blanks with the appropriate collective nouns the award ceremony was a dash of stars since all the particular cricket players were present so now here we can see what we are going to write there was a long dash in front of the stadium before the pakistan cricket match began whenever danish went a dash of puppies followed him general sharma had a dash of soldiers on my birthday my best friend gave me a dash of flowers six it is amazing to view a dash of geese in the sky let us bring dash of sticks for the bonfire so here we can see in first we are going to write constellation of a star this is for the first and there was a long queue whenever danish went dash of puppies followed him here we can write in third litter of puppies this is third now in six it is amazing to view a dash of geese in the sky so we can write flight of geese in the sky this is number 6 now next exercise let us bring a dash of sticks for a bonfire this is bundle of sticks for the bonfire so bundle of sticks this is number 7 now let's move to the next a uh, number this is 8 during the war a dash of ships guarded the coast so now here we are going to write fleet fleet of ships the pieces of paper lay under the dash of the table now let's see stack of the table and stack of the table a dash of soldier boarded the ship a crew of soldiers a crew of soldiers boarded the ship let's revise what we have done today in this exercise the award ceremony was a constellation of stars since all the popular cricket players were present there was a long queue in front of the stadium before the india pakistan cricket match began whatever danish whenever danish went a litter of puppies followed him general sharma had a battalion of soldiers on my birthday my best friend gave me a bouquet of flowers it is amazing to view a
flight of geese in the sky let us bring a bundle of sticks for the bonfire during the war a fleet of ships guarded the coast the piece of paper lay among the stack of books on the table 10th a crew of soldier boarded the ship now that's all for today complete these exercises in your book and we will do tomorrow few more exercises which are based on abstract nouns